interesting film. And I'm back with my co-host for our look at Latino images in film, author and UCLA professor Sean Noriega. Interesting about so many of these movies are kind of ending with that message that you've got to get out of the barrio or you're, you're gone, you die. So yeah. they weren't very hopeful about, about being, you know, living in a neighborhood of, of uh, Mexican-Americans. Well, they were looking at social issues, but they were addressing them in the way that Hollywood often does, right. which is around an individual character. And so the idea is how do you escape the barrio? How do you get out? And inevitably, given the other uh, side of kind of racial sentiments, is the message is going to be you can't. Uh, you're going to try. You'll ultimately either overreach or go into a life of crime, and you'll be punished. Uh, for that. So, uh, you know, th this film uh, basically uh, anticipates then what we'll see in West Side Story two years later. Right, but probably influenced by West Side Story, the stage play, right? Yeah, actually, uh, which uh, opened two years before the film. Yeah. So it was an interesting kind of dialogue or dynamic between these uh, different films and plays. Let's talk a little about Linda Crystal, who played Sarita. She's yeah. a beautiful girl, made yeah. a lot of Hollywood films, but where, where is she actually from? Yeah, she's actually Linda Cristal. She was born in uh, Argentina. You say that so nice, Linda Cristal. I try. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. Uh, she uh, was born in Argentina, but actually started her career in the Mexican film industry mm. uh, before coming to the United States. And what's interesting is she's playing a Cuban uh, character in this film, not, a, not another Puerto Rican character. And this is 1959, so this is uh, being produced before the Cuban Revolution. So she's actually captured by the INS. It's hard to think of this being a viable storyline of her being uh, caught by the INS after 1959. Um, but it's uh, partly a reflection of the time that the film was made. But in Hollywood, she made films like with John Wayne. She did The Alamo mm -hmm. and Two Road West, uh, the John Ford film, Tony Curtis, Perfect yeah. Furlough. She did a lot of work. Yeah, she had a good career. Yeah, a beautiful girl. Yeah, and I, I have to admit that actually uh, John Saxon, despite the, the problems in this film, uh, stars in, uh, co-stars in one of my favorite films of all time, Enter the Dragon, where he actually puts his uh, black belt to use. Yeah. Uh, so. Well, let's talk about what's next. Stay with us, because up next we have a really powerful drama with Burt Lancaster playing a DA investigating the murder of a blind Puerto Rican boy. It's from 1961. It was directed by the great John Frankenheimer. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. I'm back once again with my co-host for this evening, author and UCLA professor Chan Noriega, an expert on the subject of Latino images in film, which is our theme this month on TCM. He's also a man we've kept very busy because he helped us program our films in this series. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you, Robert. It's great to be here. Thanks, John. Now, this evening we've been showing movies about social issues involving Latinos. Well, our next movie on that subject is a really powerful drama about three Italian boys accused of killing a blind Puerto Rican. It's from United Artists in 1961, and it stars Burt Lancaster, Shelley Winters, and Dina Merrill. It's called The Young Savages. Now, this is a terrific movie. Same year, West Side Story came out. But why, I don't have to ask you why you picked this, but your thoughts about the film. Well, it's interesting. In some ways, it, it almost gets drowned out by West Side Story, um, which is in color, it's a musical, and this is a black and white police procedural, uh, essentially. But I think what's fascinating about the film is, one, it's trying to take on just a, a, a stunning array of issues, from juvenile delinquency to the death penalty for uh, minors, uh, racism, ethnic pride, um, prostitution, drugs, um, and gangs. And it sets up an interesting contrast between uh, Puerto Rican and Italian American, between kind of white ethnic and a racial minority group. But the procedural, uh, allows the character played by Burt Lancaster, uh, assistant DA Hank Bell, to basically go back and forth between these two communities and try to figure out what the story is and ultimately reveal that what's happened is much more complicated. So that, combined with John Frankenheimer's uh, cinematography, his approach to the film, give a very different look uh, to exploring issues related to the Puerto Rican community or to a multi-ethnic, multiracial uh, New York, some of the more powerful scenes in the film involve depictions of the Puerto Rican community, uh, for example, the funeral uh, for the 15-year-old boy who's uh, murdered by the Italian uh, gang members. And in some ways, uh, it becomes a haunting presence within the film that it can't quite resolve mm -hmm. given uh, the genre that they're working within. Well, it's a great movie, so I'm glad that you picked this for everybody to see. Here it is from 1961, also with Telly Sabalas in the cast and directed by John Frankenheimer. Here's the young savages. <laughs> 